Hello everyone, I'm Oni. Welcome back to FTL Mods. As you can see, I'm still not running Sensory Deprivation. I'm instead running, as you can tell by the title, one of the classic mod ships of FTL. Like, if you have played FTL mods, you really should play this thing. And because I'm a lazy bum, it's taken me this long to actually play this particular ship. The Potential. It is a classic, it is an absolute classic, and it is, uh, you know, one of the oldest mod ships made by Fifth Horseman. Uh, it is, I believe, his first ship that was severely, re it was made before A even came out. So, when A came out, the trick that Potential has made the game crash. A lot. So, he had to completely revamp the potential to make it viable you know so it was changed a lot now both versions are available for download the one after a and one before a don't get the one before a it crashes the game as I found out recently like a few minutes ago yeah so this is the potential there is a kick-ass backstory for this which I will read if you're bored well you shouldn't be watching me anyway <laughs> anyway, um, alright, a lot of things have been changed, a lot of things, 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 I'm not going to tell you the tricks of this, you will see it soon enough when you start the game. Alright, the potential is my attempt at not overpowered but overly powered ship. It comes with, I'm not telling you, how then is it not overpowered? Well, it doesn't come with much else. The ship will sometimes die in the first encounter, it will also sometimes meet the final boss so wrecked out that the battle is laugh. But the, how you get there, that's the thing. Alright. So, the backstory. The stolen rebel rigger, billowing smoke from multiple hard breaches, coasted into the hangar and hit the deck with a loud clang. It slid to a stop in the middle of the large empty room. The ship had seen better days. It was shot up and scarred with the wounds from dozens of beam hits, several weapon mounts were utterly destroyed, and a single mini beam dangled from what used to be its own mount. The airlock opened, creating yet another hole for smoke to escape, but also allowing a single figure to fall out, coughing. He didn't look to be in much better shape than the ship. Clancy! The mechanic yelled while running up to the collapsed figure. And NG, the only other living thing on the entire base, lumbered up as well. Did you get it? The mechanic asked. The data. Clancy rolled onto his back and pulled a data pad from his breast pocket. He grinned and coughed. Got it. Full stats on the rebel flagship. He looked around. Where is everybody? The mechanic's smile faded. All gone. They abandoned the outpost. The entire fleet's making their final stand in Sector 8. It's gotten that bad? Clancy asked. It's gotten that bad. Clancy thought for a few seconds. But why did you stay? The mechanic grinned. I knew you'd come back. Clancy laughed. And the laugh turned into more coughing. He rolled onto his side and coughed up some blood. You need a bad berry. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, it's the other dude. You need a med bay. Oh, <clears throat> said Clancy. The rebels are right behind me. We need a ship. This one's spent. The mechanic looked over the smoldering hunk of metal that Clancy had somehow piloted back to the base. I think it's a bit more than spent. Clancy looked around from his position lying on the ground. I don't see any ships. Like I said, they're gone. All gone. They went to Sector 8. Clancy's eye turned down. Then all is lost. Well, started the mechanic. Well, what? There is one ship, but it's not ready yet. It'll have to do. I can fly anything. He coughed again, wincing in pain as more blood spilled onto the flight deck. Well, you're not flying anything until we patch you up, said the mechanic. Someone has to fly it. What ship is left? The potential. Clancy frowned. That prototype? Is it working? Well, it works. I mean, the drive came up and it's registering 60 power units. Clancy's eye widened. 60! That's over double <coughs> what any other ship's got. But that's all it... Yeah, that works. I mean, it's only got half the base system. It's missing cloak, drones. Just today we installed the sensors. Those are all luxuries, Clancy grunted in pain. What kind of shield? Basic, and the thrusters are barely there. For all that power, it's going to move like an office building. It does have a nice big med bay, though. Look, we need to get you to the med bay. Clancy nodded, panting. Okay, patch me up and fly this awful building for you. 
You can man the guns. It's got guns, right? A dual laser. And? And that's it. Clancy shook his head, a bit sad. I think the mini beam on my ship still works. That and the radio are about all that does. Help me up. He got on his hands and knees, then pushed up to stand. The mechanic helped him to his feet. Immediately, though, Clancy collapsed. He has his head swimming. I think, he stammered. I'm worse, worse off than I thought. Come on, Arj the mechanic. You need to fly us there, remember? I'm not going to make it, pal. You're going to have to do it. Me? I can't fly a shuttle, let alone a thrust, uh, let alone a cruiser. Clancy coughed up more blood. It's easy. Vertical pedal on the right and keep the yoke steady. Jumps go to beacons automatically. Shields will take care of lasers, but you gotta dodge the missiles. The mechanic blinked. Dodge? I... I can't! Clancy forced himself into momentary clarity. You have to! It's barely spaceworthy. It needs work on every single system. Do it on the move, wheezed Clancy. Hit shops. Upgrade. That ship's got a great name for what he is. What do you mean? It's named after the potential field between the white and black holes in the engine core. But she's also perfect for upgrading. She can do anything. She's got potential. He coughed again weaker. He was fading fast. Infinite potential. The mechanic looked back at the door to the prototype hangar. Was it possible? Do you really think I can do it, Clancy? When Clancy didn't answer, the mechanic turned back around. Clancy was dead. The mechanic turned to the engine, the only other living being on the base. I guess it doesn't matter if I can do it or not. Like he said, I have to. And that was the backstory. It is kick-ass. And it gives you an idea of what this thing is. Yeah. So, let's start with the potential. Now, the ship is balanced for hard mode, apparently, according to Fifth Horseman. I've never tried hard mode. I mean, I have tried hard mode, but, you know, I'm still not used to it with the normal ship, so I'm not gonna. It's pretty, though. It's really pretty. Okay, potential type. Um, using the potential field between white and black holes in the engine core, the ship can power anything you can attach to it. Mm, basically, yeah, you got the idea. Let's see it in action. And you can already see it, see it in action. That's the potential. It's got 60 power bumps. <laughs> uh, it's got level 12 weapons control. It's got level 10 shields. Bring it! This ship can run three Vulcans simultaneously. And it will have the power for it. <laughs> so, you're never going to waste money on power cost. So, always upgrade things. So, always upgrade things but the weapons control right now has like you need to get 50 and uh, you are carrying the mini beam which you can't use yet once you can use the mini beam it's awesome so i think saving weapons control for that is probably better because it starts as you can see really freaking weak so let's see how the potential goes it does have potential. It does have potential to become insane. Or, you know, you can die on the first shot. Okay, so we're not dying on the first <laughs> thing, certainly. And you never want to depower anything, because you can power anything. <laughs> oh. What a ship. What a ship. Let's build up some do dodge chances. Keep on firing. That thing's out cold, so let's get the piloting down. Yes, get those dodge chances, Klepskin and Big B. Yep, thought that was gonna happen. Good thing that was um, delayed for a while. That takes care of that. Basically keep it. It might fly away because it's ready to fly and that's one of the issues of this ship anyway.
but it's going to fly away I think maybe maybe not I don't know <sighs> that timing though the timing was insane but there's nothing I can do nothing I can do all right Let's get a move on, let's get a move on. Okay, on this mini beam is obviously better. And anyway. Obviously better because we do three damage. Da -da 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 -da. That ain't good. You go as well. Dodge chance just became less important. Because it's a huge. Yep. Nothing we can do, but we can vent this ship. Right. Back to your positions, everyone. Right. Alright, big we go repair that. We'll be fine. Okay, let's just stop this. Stop the fire from sweating. Okay, excellent. There we go. Alright, so we are building towards that. Towards um, mini beam. I think that is more important. Okay, I take the automated ship to get to the storage cache. Oh, same thing again. Keep on auto firing for now until we get both weapons up. Not be helped, but now we can dodge it. Right. So yeah, mm, that story took a beating. Suddenly gave my throat a beating, but whatever. Ah, sector map. Excellent. Excellent. The good thing with this big, huge layout. It's really hard to handle borders, but mm, beam sitting awkward positions is also not that a big of an issue. We are not going to an asteroid field. No, no. Well, actually, we might. No, no. Oh, it's actually, we might. I don't know. That's a bad idea. That feels like something stupid. Nah. Uh, that's a pulsar. Don't go to pulsars. Pulsars are horrible and terrible, and you will die. Nah. Uh, eight discipline chip. Okay. Keep on firing it. All right. Make all right. Let's skin. Show me those dodges that Clancy taught you. Hmm. Mechanic, Clancy, dodge. Come on, brah. You can do it. I believe, Sinia. All right. There you go. Well, I did take a ton of damage, but if I can handle that, that will probably be fine. Right, let's get our dodge chances up. I said they have an NG. They have an NG. Okay, so next jam it's coming. Kind of lame, but whatever. What did I say? You're just sucking at it. Go repair that. Get out. There we go. Get those repairs coming in. Your big bee's kind of in a pickle. We are hitting it. It's not like we're not hitting it. We are hitting it and we are taking and we are ensuring we're not taking too much damage <laughs> as long as we maintain we as long as we're able to hit that and um, immediately okay so now we take damage it is possible for Big B to flat out die at this shot okay so I did damage but they turned off that instead pretty smart man Okay, one more shot and we'll be through. Alright, go. 
Go, 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 repair that. Just one shy of actually getting, uh, you know, weapons. And we took a ton of damage, but as is per norm with this ship, you will take a lot of damage early game. Level 2 shields is important, but is it more important than no weapons? I don't know. I don't know, really. That's an issue, certainly. Uh, let's go. Let's see if I can grab something here. Uh, attack the rebels. Okay, that's bad. Right, we'll uh, try our luck. Okay, that's fine. We have some hull to go around. Let's uh, keep on hitting that. Okay, we can't keep on hitting that. We have to keep on hitting this. I said we have to keep on hitting that. Why does every ship have... Um... Okay, that's fine. Why does every ship have level 3 shields? I mean, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you peoples? Okay. Keep on doing damage, keep on doing damage, as long as we can take that out. Okay. They're probably gonna repair the shields. Oh no! Well, that takes care of that. They got a fire in there, but they just got out to take care of the fire. Which is fine. Which is fine. One more damage should do it and it will let us have mini beam. So we should probably stop the auto fire actually. Stop it with the auto fire. No 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 no. <laughs> oh man. I will not steal a civilian supply. No, no, do not. Do not. Civilians are cool people. You don't you don't take supplies from them. That is just like rude. Like wow, how rude can you get? Uh asteroid field no. That is what I say to asteroid fields. Um, scrap debris. Get the debris scrappings. Right. We want level 2 on shields. We want that fast. Want that fast. Promise to help have an NG. Oh, yeah. Right. We got that. Um, no. We have to leave. We have to leave. Right. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Um, well, we have nothing. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have nothing and it doesn't look like I'm getting hacking in a hurry. So, let's just not take it. We might get a bomb weapon. Uh, go look for level shift. Sure, do nothing. Alright. Uh, Zoltan civilian. Eh. Civilian ensures I will take two... Nebula sector. Zoltans are irritating. And we don't need Zoltan crew. <laughs> Zoltan crew is a flat bad thing. It's like the worst thing on this ship. You get a Zoltan, you might as well just throw them out. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Do I go to civilian sector or Zoltan sector? I don't know. Really? I mean, at least one, then I'll have to take all red, or at least here. Ah, let's go, Sultan. Sure. But we do have some damage. Uh, there is a store. Isn't bad. Getting some heals. That's going to cost me, but I'm not going to get heals. Okay. I can't damage this ship. I mean, it ca it can also damage me. All right. So yeah, there's no way I can damage this ship. Okay. So um, this is where we die. It appears. All right. 
Okay. Sure. I mean, sure. Just make sure I don't take damage. The perfect trifecta, am I right? I have to repair that now. I have to repair that now. Stand in there. Okay. I may die. Well, that's how the potential goes. If I die, I die. Why am I never dodging even once? Suddenly begs the question, like, why am I not dodging? Once. Wow. You know what? Fuck this run. Yeah. No. We're not jump jumping from you. Yes. That uh, crunching. That's supposed to be intentional. Because you know. The black hole. So you get smooshed. And like. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess this is okay. I mean, I told you the story. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty okay, I suppose. So, we'll start a new run and let's see how that goes with no more story issues to deal with. All right. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. A typical run with the potential as in you die. <laughs> it's got potential that uh, you got to build it. And this run wasn't it. So, we'll see you on the next video. Leave your comments and opinions in the comment section if you like or favorite, if you enjoyed it, and uh, the subscribe button if you to be, want to be notified when the next potential run goes online. Thanks again, take care, and remember, keep on flying. Bye now.